Day three, and it's definitely time for some breakfast. What a hotel that is, it's absolutely stunning. Dead clean, dead modern, mega. And there's all these cars now, and I don't know which one to actually go to. Where are we going next to, Martin? Freiburg, Switzerland. So, first legs, what is it, about two hours, I think? Hour and 45 minutes, and that takes us up to Baden-Baden, up in the mountains by the lake. Have you got any space in your 765? Might have to slum it in there with you, is that all right? S slum it? <laughs> I do want to jump back in this, because I want to be in this on the twisties, because I reckon that's going to be epic. So. And this is obviously going to be epic on that and on the motorway. But um, I've been in Lee 720, that is now what 940 horsepower. So I'm expecting this to be, well, as fast as that basically. When we got pulled yesterday. Oh yeah? We yeah. started ticking over. Oh, we just started 90 mile an hour. Oh, we were, yeah. So it's probably, that's probably what it's going on. 12.9 miles to the gallon average but we reckon that's probably more like 10 or 11. I have no idea what the Lotus is doing but actually that is pretty good on fuel to be fair. Are you doing about 20, 22 miles to the gallon? 23, 24. Yeah. What do you reckon you're averaging to the gallon you? 18.6. Mine's good. Well we've been on the motorway so time to ask that question is tomorrow. Yes, I reckon it'll be significantly worse I than that. I think it might be very low. Yeah. What do you reckon you're averaging to the gallon? <laughs> <laughs> Probably about 13. All right, I'll take that. Yeah. What do you reckon we're averaging to the gallon in this? Some 15. miles. 15. Safe to say a few of them are lying. Um, 37.4 miles to the gallon <laughs> in a stage 2 720. I don't think so. Thank you. Nice one, and now whilst everybody's fueling up just before the B500, it's probably a good time to tell you about today's sponsor, Car Vertical. Now I did as much digging as I could possibly do, and I'll be honest, I could not find a single 765LT that was on there with a bad report. This one particularly wasn't. It's done two and a half thousand miles at this point, but it's absolutely bang on. However, I did find this 720S, which may not bode well for Lee. And this one, as you can clearly see, the theft is clear. The mileage looks good. It doesn't look like it's got any outstanding finance, but again, the damage on this car looks like it's pretty serious. And I mean, yeah, you only have to look at the photographs on that to know that that is in a bad way. Now with this new car vertical report, it is super clear to be able to see exactly what your car's history looks like. And this 720 couldn't be any clearer. Not only do you get to see things like this, you also get to see other information such as the Trim level, get to see the specification of the car, when it was manufactured, the engine type, and loads of other history, MOTs, things like that. It is really, really detailed and a fantastic report. So whether you own a car and you need a report for it, whether you're looking to buy a car and you want to get the history of that, whether you're looking to sell a car and you want to give the buyer some peace of mind, go and check out Car Vertical. I'll put the link in the description below. Use code EVILGT for 10% off. <laughs> And I'll catch you when we're at the top of the mountain. One thing I have got to say right, I have never been in a car that shoves you in the back of your seat as aggressively as this. You might not be able to hear a word I'm saying, this car is absolutely bonkers. Tell me a little bit about your 765 Papyrus Bark. Is that the act? So it's not like Papaya Spark Orange, it's just called Papaya Spark? Yes. Right, okay. We can't even have a lot of oranges now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty hard to actually keep on top of. The 765 was because they've made 765 of them, is that right? Yes. Or so they're making 765? Yeah, yeah, all the cars are made. So 765 Coops and 765 Spiders. of these yeah. and I reckon about 57 of them are never driven. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the hardest driven one, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm getting a bit bored of the motorway stuff now, I cannot wait to get on the twisties. I want to know now, this car, how much was it? 420. And is that, is that like a normal 765? Obviously this is a spider in it, there's no roof, so it's yeah, it more expensive. What's the cheapest you can pick 765 up for? Spider? No, just, just a 765. Uh, I think you can get them for about 280 now, so a coupe with not, yeah. no option. But this yeah. was what, 420? Yeah. Because it's carbon all over it, these seats, which look mint, long drives on the motorway, is 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 a challenge in it in these yeah, seats. They're a, bit, they're a bit of a killer. <laughs> Not exactly made for uh, no, comfort. No. How old are you again? Twenty-seven. So so what I have got to know is how much is your insurance on this? Seven and a half. <laughs> Do you know what? It's Actually, not bad for the car. That is not bad at all. If you're paying like two grand for a 30, 40 grand car, and this car's worth 10 times the amount, I'm not paying 10 times the insurance. No. I should be paying 20 grand if it was the same percentage wise. Definitely, mate. Well, put it this way when I passed my test, I was 17, I got a one litre Toyota Yaris, and that was £2,000 a year to insure. I'll be on that. Go on. I had a 1.2 Clio, that was three grand. Three grand yeah. for a 1.2 Clio? Yeah. Heavy that. I can get it. runs don't get bored it boring anyway but when you've got stuff like this and like that lot down there there's v10s there's there's all kinds of shit in that tunnel launch controls everything that sounded incredible where we're driving to freeburg these absolute lunatics are walking about two and a half feet it's going to take so shout out i've asked you to follow me for gt so make sure you do We've made it to the very top. I think this is classed as Baden Baden, I've no idea, but with the top of the B500, we had a few good blips up there. There may very well be a, st a stone chip on my lens. I don't know if you can actually see the stone chip at the bottom there, probably. Oh. I'll swap the lens over. This one's a little bit closer now. Lee's got to, his hairspray. Uh, to everybody's beautiful. Got... Oh, is that Lee's hairspray? <laughs> so, yeah. Keep it. Um, right. People say it doesn't cost anything to run a YouTube channel. They're about six, seven hundred pounds on lenses. So, um, there you go, Lee. You can have that back. Sorry yeah, about cheers, that. Cheers, bro. Okay. That's some mad bike, that. Right, so I've given my opinion on the 765. What's your opinion on your stage 2 720? Yeah, it's nice. How is it with the twisties? Perfect. That is it. We are getting off. We are on our way to... Friedberg. Friedberg. But it's some sort of spa hotel, which sounds epic, to be fair. How, how are you finding this Lotus so far? The motorway stuff is what it is. It's not what it's made for. Yeah. It was fine. Now we're out on these roads. This is where it works up and down the, the box which is lovely um, managing to find the gears every now and again which is good um, are they quite close together not particularly i've just um, it, it's a nice throw it, it's all good um just to, to get getting used to after uh, being on the floppy paddles for a long time um, how, are you, how are you finding the grip levels it's grippy i'm just finding the, the front is definitely not ultra dialed in I don't know whether that's me or just getting used to it, comparing it to other things. Um, so we'll do a few miles and figure it out. I'll let you know later. Came to a bit of a pickle there. Lee and well, the two Lees in the green McLaren and obviously Lee in the green Lamborghini. I've got no nav, so we've said we have got one. Follow us, but they don't want to hold us up because the girls are getting a bit upset about the driving. So he's just said, "Go for it, just just get on." Now the problem for us is 
we're quite a bit away now from the other guys. We're at a radio range. So Mark, level 10 now, please, mate. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, there she goes. Starting to rotate there. We found Gav. Perfect. And some more traffic. That is what you want to see on your sat nav. The roads that look like that, not like that. since I've seen a tunnel, so I'm expecting big things. That sounds unbelievable. <laughs> We've now hit like an MG owners club, but they've all got German plates on, right? Which is ironic, because a lot of us are driving German cars, and the Germans are driving British cars. I'm surprised they're still going, because surely they they don't usually last that long, these. But anyway, we're going to arrive at the hotel in about 36 minutes. Well, it'll probably be a bit longer than that, because as you can see, we're getting held up a bit. Oh, you're cool, you. Backwards cat, mate. Just want to be cool, mate. It looks like we have arrived at our destination. This place looks amazing, to be quite honest. Go on. Can you do launch control with the door open? So here we are, this is home for the night. I don't know exactly where we are. Freiburg, Freiburg, however you pronounce it. But we're hoping to be able to keep all the cars outside. I'm not entirely sure whether that's going to be possible or not, but we'll see how long we can get away with it. Oh, what, what? Hey, this is posh, this, isn't, isn't it? It's nice. We've got a spa and stuff. Right, never mind. Massages. Spa. Where's the bar? That's the what we bar. Want. I'm dealing with like <laughs> this is like Lee 2.0 with shocking directions. I've literally just got to room 210. We lost the key and some guy just come out of it. Like, mm, shouldn't be in that room. We'll try it again. <laughs> Lovely this place, mate. Nice little balcony here. Are you going to have a beer? One beer. So Mark, we made a little pack before we come out because the last time me and Mark went out for beers, it was about 7 o'clock in the morning when we got back and then we were getting thrown around uh, the Nürburgring after that and it wasn't a great day. So we did make a pact to say we're not going to go and get pissed. But then he left and you went and had a few beers yesterday, didn't you? You were supposed to look after me. Listen, if you've enjoyed the video, thank you very much. Please do consider liking and subscribing, hitting the bell and I shall see you tomorrow for day four.